Cougar Gold Cheese is famous across the Palouse and the world for its distinctive, bold taste. It is unlike most cheeses because it is made by students, packaged in a can, and shipped out to the world. This is its story. Cougar Gold's story begins here at WSU's Knott's Dairy Center, where hundreds of happy cows are raised to produce the finest quality of milk. Once the milk is retrieved from the cows, the WSU Creamery steps in for the next leg of Cougar Gold's journey. First we start off in the morning, our tanker driver gets up at 4.30 in the morning. They get in the milk truck and they drive out to the farm and pick up the milk. The student is licensed by the state as a official weigher sampler, so they need to make sure that the milk has been kept cold, uh, it was cooled down properly and doesn't have any off odors in it. If everything's okay, they pump it into the tanker truck and bring it back here to the creamery. Once they get here, they have to test the milk for antibiotics to make sure there's no antibiotics in it. And also, they take a sample to find out the composition. Uh, the butter, fat, and protein are the two most important components for uh, cheese making. Because in cheese making, what you're trying to do is capture the solids portion of milk and get rid of the water portion of milk. We need the right ratio of butter fat to protein in our milk to get the right uh, consistency of cheese. After they run those tests, then they pump the milk in to our pasteurizer. Pasteurization is heating up the milk to a certain time and temperature to make sure that the harmful bacteria, the bacteria that can make people sick, get killed. So once the milk is pasteurized, the pasteurized milk goes into an enclosed cheese vat. That's where we add the flavor producing bacteria, the lactic acid bacteria cultures that uh, will form the characteristic cheese flavor. And we also add an enzyme that will coagulate the milk quickly. It takes about 25 minutes for the pasteurized milk to get to the consistency of like yogurt or sour cream. And once the consistency is correct, then we run the agitators. We run the agitators backwards and they act like a knife. They slice through the coagulated milk and cut it into curds and whey. From there, we heat it slightly from about 90 degrees to 102 degrees over the next uh, half hour, 45 minutes. That helps the cheese curds to kind of solidify and not crumble. After we've done that, then we can pump the curds and whey onto our finishing table. The finishing table is really just a draining table. The whey portion or the water portion of milk goes down through the screen and the screen holds the curd portion of milk. Then we have to rake the curd, it basically looks like cottage cheese when it gets out there. Uh, and We rake it into piles and then the, uh, the students cut those piles into loaves. And the cheddaring process begins. Students will take the slabs of cheese curd, flip and stack them to try to force moisture out. But at the same time these bacteria are consuming the, the lactose and converting it into lactic acid. They measure that acid level every 15 minutes and they, they want it to get up to a certain spot and once it gets there... Then we're ready to try to stop that acid production process so that our cheese is consistent from day to day and batch to batch. So in order for us to help stop that acid production, we mill the cheese, which means cutting it into smaller pieces, which increases the surface area. Then we sprinkle salt on it. Salt is a preservative, it binds up the water, so the bacteria stop growing, so they stop producing acid. Once the salt is stirred in, then we shovel all that cheese into our hoops. And the hoops are six inches diameter about, and they're one can round and nine cans long. After they fill the hoops with cheese, then they have to pick them up on the scale, weight each hoop. Then we put them under pneumatic presses. These pneumatic presses then help force out some of the additional whey and helps the curds kind of form together as one solid chunk. Salted cheese curds stay under the forms overnight. And then we take it back out and we wrap a cheesecloth around it and then we put it back in the press overnight. And then the following morning the cheese curds are pulled out of the hoops and our students will then manually slice 30 ounce slabs 
top of each cylinder of cheese curd and put that in a can, put it into our sealing machine which puts a lid on it, vacuum seals it, and then it's ready to age for a year. All packed up nice and airtight, Cougar Gold is loaded onto a truck and shipped over to the WSU Creamery Annex. Ferdinand's makes the Cougar Gold and all the cheeses, but we store the cheddars here, the Cougar Gold, the Smoky, and the cheddar. They need to age one year before they're sold. So they bring it here and I put it up in the racks. Each um, pallet that we have contains 450 cans per pallet. And each row that you see, you're looking at 20 pallets. After it's sat for at least a year, Cougar Gold is ready to be shipped off to its final destination. We have uh, a database of about 40,000 customers that have ordered or received our cheese. Someone calls in, we enter their order on the computer, then we get little shipping labels that print out. Someone goes through and checks those to make sure there's no obvious mistakes that have been made. Next, the labels get sent out to the warehouse. I get the labels from the office and we sort them by the flavors and we scan them into the computer. Then we take them to our workstation where we build the packages, send them down the belt, scan them one more time, make sure that the computer and the, the count match, and then we ship them out FedEx, UPS, and Postal. Cheese has gone all over the world. Uh, we sell primarily in the Northwest. About 50% of the cheese we sell goes to Seattle area. But there are a certain number of people in, of course, Idaho and Oregon that, that order it, and also California, there's a number of people in California that uh, order a lot of our cheese. So that's probably 75 or 80% of our cheese sales. Uh, most of it we market directly to customers. So people call us up on the phone or send us an email or go to the internet and order it and we send it directly to their home. So that's how we like to do it because then people are coming in contact with WSU. With such an amazing journey, it's no surprise that Cougar Gold sets the bar so high for other cheeses. It truly is the epitome of Cougar Pride.